poverty persists in America despite economic growth. This is not a law. This is simply a fact of what's happened in the United States. We have the widest distribution, excuse me, not distribution at all, the widest stratification of wealth perhaps in the history of this nation, from the very wealthy to the rest. The middle is being hollowed out. Poverty is growing fast, and it's not just the current economic downturn. Why? Why is that happening in what is still the wealthiest nation in the world? What is the profound effect that that's going to have on national politics? Poverty is not only an insufficiency of personal wealth. It is rather a condition that has its most meaningful existence beyond any tally of money or possessions. The impacts of welfare reform, uh, a floundering economy, more homelessness, and high unemployment rates. Now today, immigration in many ways is changing the face of the nation and changing the face of poverty. In major urban settings, even in areas like West Sacramento, anywhere between 50 and 70 percent of the kids of color drop out. They don't even make it to thinking about getting to the university. People matter. How our nation copes with poverty tells us volumes about what we are as a nation. Poverty is a social problem, not just in the Central Valley, but in the state and the nation. My answer to the question of why does poverty research matter is quite simply that it enables us to understand the intergenerational catalysts to poverty. We are now watching a generation of children growing up with a legacy of early family poverty. And part of the question that we want to ask as part of this Center for Research on Policy is how are they influenced by family poverty and what kinds of assistance might prove most valuable to assisting them and in particular, helping them to emerge out of poverty and into a different kind of future. An incredibly important challenge for social science research and at the core of the activities of the center is in using best methods and best practices to try to understand what role poverty is playing in those correlations as opposed to other factors that are, are part of the complicated uh, uh, paradigm of poverty and long-term outcomes. We have new tools to bring to the task. Major advances in research methods and data in the social sciences and beyond mean that poverty researchers can be more ambitious than ever before. What you're going to accomplish here on this campus with this institute is of profound importance to this nation and really the world beyond because I doubt that you're going to stop at the borders of the United States. Poverty is a profoundly important issue in all that this nation is engaged in and already we've talked tax policy here, we've talked educational policy, we've talked about the distribution of wealth or the redistribution of wealth We've talked about child care, we've talked about, and that's just in three minutes with just five of you people here. But there is so much need for knowledge and information. And I would just ask that you do one thing in all that you work here, and that is spend time on, on figuring out how to disseminate that information. Ignorance is our enemy.